Tallahassee expert. Here to answer your questions live on air is life coach Juliana Lydon. Let's get to it. Matt from Phoenix says, I'm not artsy or into crafts, so what can I do? And a lot of people are not. <laughs> I know, I'm not either. Yeah. And so we talked a little bit about this in the earlier segment, and I say create an experience. And really what I mean by that is it can be a variety of things. It doesn't have to be that day, mm -hmm. but you can fill out, you know, a letter and explain to them, I bought us, you know, tickets to go to this concert, and then we're going to have this experience. Or it can all be a surprise. Oh, I love so that. it's just something that you craft, and it's really unique to them. And it, it speaks to them. It does. Because you know them so well and you want them to be happy. Exactly. Right? Okay, Donna from Cave Creek says, I have two questions. Okay, first up, what are good, meaningful gifts for kids and what kinds of gifts can kids give that are meaningful? This is a good okay. one. Okay. Oh, my twins are watching. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to stretch a little bit okay. here for the parents and I'm going to say, what if you got them something that was a complete surprise, meaning maybe all along through the year you've said, no, you're not going to have a phone, or no, I'm never going to let you allow, allow you to go out with your friends in, yes. in a group, or whatever those little things are. And what if you said, you know what? Dad and I are going to trust you, and we're going to let you have this for Christmas. And you're going to prove Whoa. to us that you can do it. So that's an option. Yeah. Then the other one for kids, for parents, yes. we talked a little bit about, and those are those coupons, which everybody knows about. Yes. You can help your kids craft one for dad. Dad can help them craft one for you, whether it's something as simple as, you know, cleaning up or making sure they go over and above with something that's going to make mm -hmm. you feel really excited. Clean their room, yeah. the playroom, right, wash the right. dishes, do the laundry. I right. can go on and on. Those <laughs> coupons would be like a book. Hey, that's right. All right. That was good. Alex from Glendale says, when someone says, it's okay, don't get me anything, should you listen to them? No. Really? <laughs> I've listened to them I, when they said it. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, I, I don't ever listen, oh, you know, I because know. it says, how guilty do you feel when you give them something? You know, when you get something, I mean. Yeah. And then you're, because my husband always says that. Oh, don't get me anything. Yes. I'm like, and are you kidding? Gets, and then right. if I find something for Steven, then he gets mad at it's me. It's a horrible yeah. feeling on Christmas morning. Yeah. So just get something. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh. Okay, Kelly from Glendale says, to me, the gift of time can be more valuable than any store-bought gift, but I'm out of ideas. What are some things I can do with my grandparents, siblings, or parents that are special and will make forever mm, memories? Oh. That's such a good one. Yeah. We talked a little bit about where I said take a load off, and what I meant by that is another way to add to this mm -hmm. is to have like each child in the family say you're doing something for grandparents yes. or it can be for any you know siblings right. that each one can plan something so maybe you have five days of little fun Ooh. events like oh you're gonna take dinner over to him tonight <gasps> okay great oh I'm gonna take grandma to a movie oh you're gonna and yeah. so it's just this really fun exchange where everybody's working together uh -huh. but they also get to see everyone yes. so you could do it for anybody in the family and it's I love fun. the ex like extending the yeah. time I always love that. It's like yeah. a birthday when you I was celebrate just for a week. It's like the birthday long month. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. love that. Okay, so we have a little bit of extra time. Ginger, I want you to come on over. Yay, I know Ginger. you had a question. All right, come on I over. I always have questions. Yes. And I love the advice because, you <laughs> yes. know, you're almost a sounding board. Mm. But what happens when you're in the situation where you're given a gift and you didn't have one? prepared to give that person. We've all been there. Right. All been there. Yeah. All been there. So my recommendation is be gracious because all of a sudden the guilt starts to rise right. and you're going, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I don't have a gift. Be gracious. Say, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm so excited. I appreciate that. Run home as fast as you can the next day and get him a gift. Okay. So <laughs> Thinking you had to so follow up <laughs> with yeah, yeah, yeah. I always so do. Does, does it okay. seem like a pity gift? Like I wasn't going kind to be yes, you, exactly. uh, you know, it just depends. I think it's really the kind, it doesn't have to be big, but just something like, you know, something okay. little. I so you thought think? you were going to say, <laughs> thank you, and then leave it at that. <laughs> Well, and again, I've done it. <laughs> it, it we right. are all in that situation, and I was just trying to think about well, if that when that happens to me, yeah, you know, yeah. if I'm given a gift, or if I give somebody a gift and mm -hmm. they don't have one for me, do I expect one? Mm -hmm. And I can't say oh. that. So I yeah. love the idea of just yeah. being yeah. gracious, yes. just being right. gracious, and it's run home. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 
Run to yeah, sit, in the f sit in the car, get on Amazon, <laughs> deliver right. today between oh, two I to six. This. I just forgot. Yours is coming in It was today. late. Yeah, shipping. Oh, oh always yeah. so much fun with you, Juliana. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Getting us prepared. Yep. <laughs>